Okay, welcome back. So we have another Starlink Mini uh, product to check out, but this one comes directly from SpaceX itself. Uh, so we have one of these set up in the garage. This is the new mesh node, the little tiny guy that's only $40. Well, I have one in the garage, hardwired, which I don't recommend because it's like 160 in the attic right now. So you get in, get out rapidly. Uh, what we did is we extended the coverage. So now all three of the cars I, being in the garage or in the driveway have no problems taking downloads. Uh, I do a lot of stuff in the garage. I do a lot of reloading, model airplane stuff. Um, now I can run my Netflix out there with no problem on the smart TV and I don't have any kind of an issue out there. Plus it was 40 bucks. It's totally worth trying anyway. Well, so worth it, we got it for the Mini. Now it does need at least a Cat5 cable or higher. And the one cool thing about the Mini is, aside from us using the kickstand tonight, I'm not sure how well you can see inside there, but right there is the Cat5, it's a, a plug for the Cat5 cable. So the nice thing is, is they didn't go anything mini or proprietary on that. Just a regular old Cat5 or better, and you are golden. So we're going to plug it all into the Blue Eddy EB38, I believe. EB3A, it's a 268 watt hour uh, solar battery. Um, this thing is great. I've used this actually quite a bit uh, for my CPAP. So if you have a CPAP, you can get two days of runtime out of this. It's fantastic. And then we also are going to use, you guys have seen this before on the channel, the little cigarette lighter plug-in, and it's got our power node on the end of it, which is just a regular barrel connector. So we're going to get all this set up. I'll show you guys the mesh node. Here we go. Okay, so in the box, we have our little directional card. And if you look at this thing really close, the clock right up there, the time, 420 just standard Elon, SpaceX, Tesla stuff. And then this is the node. It's the size of a coffee cup. I mean, there's my hat. It'll literally fit inside your hat with no problem. It is just a tiny little thing. And on the back you have, you can actually daisy chain these together uh, for a series of nodes. And then that's your uh, power supply with your little barrel plug right there. You do get a, Power supply with it also, which is going to come in handy to, you know, obviously power it up. Uh, with this particular node, you can either, you as soon as you plug it in, your Starlink is going to find it and connect to it. Um, takes a couple of minutes if you're just doing it over the regular Wi-Fi signal, but that's where your Cat5 comes in. If you so choose to use that, then you can get the full potential out of this because now it's wired, which is what we're going to kind of do today. Well, simulate with the Starlink Mini. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. What else we got in the box? Oh yes, there is a little mount for it. It's, uh, it actually comes with the, the hardware that you need, which is gonna be a little, um, those little plastic plugs that you push into the drywall and then a couple of screws. And you can see it's got that little kickstand on it right there. It actually, oops, wrong way. It is directional too. And it just snaps right on. So it plugs into the back of the wall, screws in the wall like that with your screws and that's it it'll just sit against the wall like this uh or you can stick it on a desk dresser whatever it's the feet are padded underneath so you're not gonna have to worry about scratching anything because it is metal it feels like a very thin aluminum and you can bend it if you need to um which you probably are going to if you do wall mount it which is what i did just grab it <laughs> bend it up to whatever you need so uh we have the power supply plugged in over there so actually what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the mini first and then we'll daisy chain these together. Hang on real quick. All right. So in standard Tim fashion, I grabbed an ethernet cable, not a cat five cable, but that's okay. Well, I'll just show you guys how it looks when you wire it up, um, through the Wi-Fi. So let me show you what we got. All right. So the blue Eddie is right down here and we'll make sure we're on the right setting here. So, we are i think we're powered on okay so we are powered on and i really hope you can see that through the glare but we are pulling 36 watts the battery on this thing is at 41 percent we're plugged in for the mesh node here and then right here we're pulling 13 volts for the um starlink itself so we've got that set up so the next thing we have to do is open up our app 
and we'll go to Starlink. There we go. See if I can do this in the shade so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, so right now it shows we're Starlink home. What we need to do is go to Starlink Rome. So let me switch over to that because I'm going to need both hands. All right, so now you can see we're hooked up to Starlink Rome because that's what I have it named as. And then it pops up right here, new mesh node detected. So let's go ahead and pair that. So we're actually in the shade now. Everything's just kind of sitting over there, sort of in the shade. So what we're going to do is it's telling you how it's going to extend the coverage. We're going to go ahead and hit continue. Place in range, we have all that. And I have found a good spot. Got it. Continue. And now it is connecting the node. And it'll even tell you down here that it's connecting through the mesh. All right, and there we are. Mesh node connected to Starlink Mini. And then it changes the whole game. Uh, you can see that's actually the, the Mini right there. And then the offshoot is the actual node. So then we can just go ahead and go back to our home screen. Oh, yeah, then you got to you know, go through, calculate your orientation and all that. It's literally just set up there on the table, so we're not going to bother doing that. So it is pretty much aligned already. View obstructions, we don't really have any, but we are aligned. Let's give it just a little kiss. Oh, yeah, no, we don't even need to do that. It even tells you Starlink is aligned. So we don't need to go through any of the uh, alignment procedures because it's already done. But... You can see we're connected. All right, and there we go. Starlink is connected and we are aligned. And you can see the whole screen just changed over. So we're on our Starlink row. We've got a great signal coming down and there is our mesh node. And then there's just some extra nerd data, the ping success rate and the latency. Latency in the house is like 20, so 36 out here. And just for the fun of it, let's go ahead and knock out a speed test since we're standing here. And we should start up here any second. Immediately shot to 164. That's freaking awesome. And yeah, we're going to hang out about the 120 looks like. Yep, almost 130. For a download and an upload is obviously going to be in the high 20. So that's even cooler. Not too bad on a mini. So there you go, guys. Starlink mini with a mesh node hooked up to it. Is it worth the 40 bucks? A hundred percent it is. Am I ever going to use it in a campground to where I need that mesh node? Probably not. But does it look cool? Oh, yes, it does. Now I just need to figure out how to mount the node. I've got the, the glass all figured out on how to uh, run the cable down there and secure it all. It looks a little hokey, but it's not bad. And it's completely reversible. So, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Starlink mesh node, 40 bucks. Uh, I'll put the links down there for it. And um, I believe right now you get, you get all the equipment for free if you do a 12-month contract. And, I mean, they, they could give me charter, and I would still say no thank you and pay for Starlink. That's how much I actually believe in it. Not because I'm a big nerd or anything like that, but we've had the, the charter line sabotaged twice in my town, and it was down for a day, day and a half. I had, I had no idea because I never lost connection. So is it going to happen where you live? Probably not. I mean, it's so slim, it's not even funny. But it's very cool to know that you don't ever have to worry about it. So I'll leave all the links to whatever you need to know down there. Again, if you use my referral code, I think I get two months free now. Um, and you get a month and you get all the equipment for free. And I, I think you have to do a 12-month 12, 12 contract. I think. I'm not 100%. Uh, you'll have to read through the Starlink to see how they do it. So appreciate you guys watching. And hope you learned something. This, this is going to be a lot of fun to go camping with to play with. We'll see you guys on the next one.